Good morning and welcome on this first Sunday of Christmas as we celebrate with lessons and carols. Happy New Year. We're glad that you are tuning in with us today. We begin this, this morning with our confession and forgiveness. Amid the troubles and fears of this world, let us confess our sin and welcome God's forgiveness, grace, and love. Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our lack of faith and trust. Your son was born in the poverty of a stable. Forgive our neglect of the poor. The shepherds left their flocks and went to Bethlehem. Forgive our selfishness and complacency. With great joy of the angels I proclaim to you, do not fear, for I bring you good news of great joy. Today is born a Savior who is Christ the Lord. In Jesus, who is Savior, Christ, and Lord, our sins are forgiven. May we know the peace which the angels sang from the heavens. Indeed, God's forgiveness is good news of great joy. Amen. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have placed us in a world of space and time, and through the events of our lives, you bless us with your love. 
Grant that in the new year we may know your presence, see your love at work, and live in the light of the event that gives us joy forever, the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
fifth chapter of Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are the one with the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up as the time when she who is in labor has brought forth, then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Mary said to the angel, 
How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.
second chapter of Luke. And there were shepherds in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not fear, for I bring you good tidings of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. You will find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there appeared with the angel a great company of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Come, let us go and see this thing that has happened in Bethlehem. So they went to Bethlehem, to the stable, where they found Mary, Joseph, and the child, Jesus, just as the angels had said. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observe his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, and by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so they may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Fulfill 
what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing in loud lamentation. Rachel, weeping for her children, she refused to be consoled because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us confess our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection and the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. With wonder and thanksgiving for Christ's coming into the world, we pray for the church, the life of the earth, and the whole human family. Merciful God, broaden the church's hospitality and welcome. Open our hearts to any in need of refuge and help, especially those who are persecuted. Prosper the work of Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, God of Grace. Hear our prayer. Life-giving God, restore the soil, the seas, and the air. Increase the joy and praise of all living things. In the coming years, strengthen local, national, and international efforts to prevent further harm to the earth. God of Grace, hear our prayer. Liberating God, deliver your people from cruel oppression. Increase justice in every nation, and keep the dream of freedom alive. In this new year, bring the blessing of peace and put an end to violent conflict throughout the world, especially in Ukraine. God of grace, hear our prayer. Uplifting God, raise all who are bowed down by trouble and need, especially those longing for healing. We pray these names either silently or aloud. We pray that you bring new life to Jake and Kendra. We pray for individuals and families living in poverty in our communities, especially those with whom we connect through our food pantries and meal ministries. Protect and nurture all children. Sustain those who parent, teach, and care for the young. God of grace. Hear our prayer. Abiding God, accompany this community in the coming year. Increase our love for one another and the neighbors we serve. Enrich our worship and deepen our faith. Sustain the pastors who lead us and through our shared ministries, especially Pastor Marty Hampton, Pastor Amy Beidelshees Albers, Father Michael Holland, and all who minister in your name. God of grace, hear our prayer. Loving God, the holy innocents who perish in every generation are safe in your keeping. We give you thanks and praise for all the faithful who have gone before us into everlasting life with you. Comfort those who mourn. God of grace, hear our prayer. Pondering the mystery of eternal love made flesh in Christ Jesus, we commend all for whom we pray to the mercy of God. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please share a sign of this peace with those among you.
Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share our humanity. Have mercy on the sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may bear your light to the world. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. You tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise men worshiping and with thanksgiving. We, we worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We, we live with joy and go now in peace. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Tell the good news that Christ is born. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.